So this is going to be one of the many tutorials I'm going to make, and this is going to be a fairly easy one. So um, I'm going to do on this under 10 minutes. So let's start that. And here we go. First, um, you want to open up Picnic. That's uh, free, free to download. Everything's free about it. And then you want to search YouTube background template and click pit my channel and then just don't even worry about anything else it says here and click on the first thing it says YouTube template PSD and then go down to the last link which says if you only want the template image to edit in another image editor here is the image only so click on that and then here's the image so then you want to say then you want to right click and then press save image name it free youtube background template or whatever else i don't really care it doesn't really make a difference and then you can just x this out now we go back to picnic and upload a photo so then here is the template click on it all right so um, now we're gonna do now here's the fun part where you can just customize your own channel um, so you don't want all this black squares and stuff you can go to edit stickers and basic shapes then go to the squares and then just make it the same exact size as the square in this And then you can choose your color, so I'll just do red for right now, or whatever. Red. Alright, and then you should, if you want your whole channel to be colorful or the same color, you should do that for all of the squares. Just make them the same exact size. Whoops. And I'll just do blue. And you want to make the squares like right next to each other so there's no cracks or crevices in your YouTube channel, which makes it look bad. <clears throat> no, it's a little smaller. Or you can, or you could, yeah, whatever, just make this. That should be good. If it doesn't come out perfect, you can always, you know, tamper with it and just make it a little bit better. Because I doubt this is going to come out perfect under 10 minutes, but it's going to be done in under 10 minutes. So while I'm doing this, who do you want to win um, Super Bowl 2011? Just leave it in the comments. Personally, I want the Packers to win because they haven't won in a while. And then we'll make this right here. If you want a good example of what the channel is supposed to look like, how like if it's supposed to, how it's supposed to look at the end, go to my channel and check it out. And subscribe to me if you want. Alright, so if you don't like the um, color right here of just white and black and gray, you can make a square as well. And all these steps will be in um, the description of this video. So you don't have to obviously memorize them. I'm going too fast for me. Alright, here we go. Make this whatever, just green again. Make this. This is just going to be a really colorful channel. You can do this all one color if you want to. And let this right here. And yeah, let's see what it is. This little black square.
difficult to do this in under 10 minutes, but if you want a lot of detail in it, it's going to be hard to do it under 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to start with this. Just make this blue again. Alright, now, um, since it's all colorful, you can go to the text and, um, you can write things on the sides and stuff, which makes it really easy. So I'll do the Tyler zone. Whoops. And there's a lot of different cool fonts you can pick. I'm just going to do this one. Whoops. Sometimes it can be hard to um, pick up the text because there's a lot of boxes that you're going to be clicking on. And you want to kind of make this a lot smaller than it is because um, for some reason YouTube like magnifies. I don't even know how to explain it, but what you got to do is just make this a little bit smaller and put it on the side of your YouTube channel. So right here should be good. And then I'll make it a little bit smaller. Well, actually, yeah, make it a little bit smaller. This is my first tutorial, so it might not be my best. And then we'll do subscribe, make impact. Mm, whoops, that's what I mean. Like, you're going to be pulling all the squares out and trying to get the text. That's the only bad part. So, what I do is I just make it a little bit bigger and then I grab the text and make it smaller. Oops. 